Jump. Hold still. Three, two, one, jump. So this here is a really good test of power. So it's our explosive leg power. And one of the ways we actually use that is in tracking fatigue. So we can jump on this before a gym session. And if the scores are, are down for new neuromuscular power, then we can alter the gym session accordingly and make sure our athletes don't um, get into a state where they're overtrained and aren't uh, recovering and progressing well. We get up to massively high wattage, so we would be talking a couple of thousand watts, and then just trying to hold on to it in the last sort of 10 seconds is, uh, is really, really tough. But uh, the toughest part is just all the training that goes into getting you in that shape beforehand. In the old days, it took us, if we went through 40 athletes with an, a, in an assessment, that would take us 30 hours to go through the data to get, find out what that information would be, um, if that was use, useful information. That's a week gone before you even get to be able to act upon that information. So suddenly we, now we can intervene almost within seconds of, of understanding that data, and that's a power. That we, we're, we're probably a week ahead of where we used to be, and, and in, in the, in the four-year cycles, every week, every day counts. They know exactly what it takes um, to perform in an international match. Um, therefore, they can make training replicate that. They know when we've had a bit of a lighter session, when we need to have a bit of a harder session. Um, they know exactly what sort of intensity and effort is needed. Yeah, international hockey is exceptionally competitive. Um, so at the top, you know, anybody could turn up and win the Olympics. So it really is a matter of who's best prepared in order to go and deliver, you know, go deliver come the games time. Um, so us having the GPS technology means that we can have a much better understanding of the demands that are going to be placed on the players during competition. And then it really means that we can individualise the training programmes for the athletes. I was lucky enough to go to the London Olympics, so I know how fantastic um, a Games that was. Um, and Rio is going to be completely different, but completely amazing as well. And I think whichever team goes, it's going to be amazing. There is some uh, coaches looking into using drones and, and combining sort of GPS data with drone technology to understand where players are in space and time and mapping that out. Uh, potentially, you could see sort of the development of uh, 
um, patches to, to measure other physiological data in real time. You see that with the Formula One drivers and people in the space station. So that might become more prevalent over, over the next few years.